y'all just want to use one color? It's all about it, maybe a second here. Yeah. Okay, one color. I think so. Yeah.
Yeah, we heard it rolling in this morning and it was oh, he's fixing to start it. super loud, wasn't it? One. This is like a dust bowl, so everything is dirty and nasty. So when you're looking at it, it's truly at the rat rod stage, right? So it's beautiful the way it is. I wouldn't change a thing. Well, I, I wanted something to still be classy, yeah. but but still go that kind of like the pro street rat rod. So right. we wanted something to be really unique and different. Right. So this is an actual Parkway truck. Okay. And here's the deer, here's where it's at. So when you look at like the like that other wheelies you seen back there is a wagon. Mm -hmm. So this is a parkway. And how you know that is these three screws right here is done by factory. Okay. You notice these are plate glass windows. Right. They don't roll down, they don't do anything. Right. On a wagon, they slide okay. and also you get a clamshell rear uh, yeah. door. Where this one has rounded fenders, not the squared out fenders. Right. Then it's supposed to have fender skirts. I cut them off, dovetail them to make them have that, you know, class of the actual parkways oh. through the whole entire life of, of the Willys, Kaiser, Jeep, however, however you want that. Originally, this was the first Jeeps. Um, so this one is, this is pretty rare. It is. So I talked to a guy in California when I was building, because I didn't really know. I was like, what is it? Like, what is it? How is it? Right. He was like, tell me this. Does it have rounded fenders? I said, yes, sir. He said, does it have three screws in the side of the door? And like, I was like, yes, sir. He's like, all right. He said, one more question for you. Go look at the VIN number. He said, is it an 11,000? I'm like, yep, it is. He's like, all right. What you have is a uh, Willys sedan delivery parkway conversion. He said, there's not many out there. About 250 known to exist in the United States. Wow. Like, total. And I was like, okay. Well, I'm fixing to cut it all to pieces and make a cool rat rod out of it. He was like, please don't do that, please. <laughs> please restore it back. And I'm like, but when I build it this way, I think I can build it for purists and hot rods. Right. And try to compliment both. both. And try to compliment both. Right. So this is what you get after I got done. Mm -hmm. this, the way this is done with the rust. And, and, and this wood. is hand painted wood. Wow. That is, mm -hmm. that is I, actual. That was going to be my next it's question. Metal. Has it been, really? Yeah, that's metal. Wow. It's hand painted. Now this up here has just been built this year, but this, my artist come back and hand painted this to match. So it kind of complemented each other. Right, right. But this is actual wood. This is metal. That's so crazy. everything is there. So um, the dad started the Willie and saying, he started that from the very first and he'd done this like in a one stage. Mm -hmm. He passed away last year. And so I was like, well, what do I do for an artist? Right. Well, his son, is just as good as he was. So his son come back and 3D architect the wood to make it stand out even more. Wow. So he went in and done that, and then he painted all my bottles, all my other artifacts, all the like the fire suppression system, and like all that stuff is done by the son. Right. So I have two generations of of builder or painters that's done stuff. That's a great story. That's so a, that's just a great part of the story. Of this so la the last thing that Daniel done for me um, was. He come in and painted the bottles. He painted my my cooler, and then he put tiki juice because this is where my fuel goes in. So we, we put tiki fuel in. It's what we call it. You know, uh, it runs on BP 110 fuel, race fuel. Uh, pretty much from there, uh, this truck is built like basically on a a pro mod chassis. And if and if she can she looks on the bottom of it, you'll see that. Um, but I, I'd love for you just to look at the details. Yeah. I mean. It's, I think the details is what makes it what it is. Right. And then it being rare as it is, that even puts it in a different light. You right. know what I'm saying? So um, everybody done, loves it wherever I go. You've done a fantastic job with this. 
And you said it took you what about five years to it's, this point? It's been about five years to this point of true of true hard labor. Right. You know, um, where I, where did it come out originally? Where'd you get it out of originally? Athens, Tennessee. Oh, okay. Uh, I, and and we want to talk about that. So I called the guy and I said, "Hey, I really want this truck. Like I, I'm I'm at, I'm at work right now. I can come this afternoon." He's like, "Man, listen, nine hundred dollars is what is what it's cost." You know that's that's what i've got on there he said if you'll come get it today i'll sell it to you for eight hundred dollars i'm tired of trying to trade trade for chainsaws and golf yeah. carts and, and 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 people saying well well what if i owe you this or can i come do that you know he's like i'm tired of it yeah. he's like if you'll come get it today eight hundred dollars i said listen i get off at two o'clock i'll be in athens tennessee by 5 30 6 o'clock well on the way did we know tornado we watched it go down the road <laughs> as we were going to get there on the way back, tornado was on this side of the road, so we went through a tornado to get it and a tornado coming home. So it survived. I got home and and I literally just took the body off. I started doing everything, custom built a chassis, put it under, set it back down, and then over time I evolved it. So the back half came later. So it's all you know, all the back half come. Uh, my son got sick with cancer. I needed something to something to do in my mind. So I said, Amy going to the garage and I'm cutting my truck apart. She goes, oh Lord, what are we doing now? <laughs> so at the end of the day, I back halved it, got it, you know, where I could do it. Yeah. And, and it was something I wanted to do anyway. Right. So there we go. So my son is now cancer free. That's I thank great. God for that. But mm -hmm. you know, in the end of the day, it gave me something to do while it was going on. Right. So, um, so the next thing we're going to do this is put a 671 blower on it. Oh, and I want to, I just, I want to go that next level. Right. And um, so, now what is its track time? I'm I'm running in the six uh, six sixties okay. consistent. Right. You know I may run a six sixty eight, six sixty seven, but you know it, 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 the fastest I've ever turned is a six sixty flat. And what are you running exactly under the hood? It's a three eighty eight stroker, and it's everything that you can do to a small block is done. Like right. it's uh, all forged, everything icon pistons, like rings, rods, all right. everything is. I mean, it, it's to the max. What kind of horsepower do you think it's putting out on the ground? Probably somewhere around 630s. That's a lot of horsepower. I mean, you've seen earlier yeah. in your little yeah. video, I mean, yeah. just, a, just a little little pat, right. and, and you see what it done. I mean, you can imagine if I unleash it. Yeah. So. Um, this thing is wicked. It's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'll say that. And the Power Tour, man, you want to talk about looks and stuff. Oh, I mean, yeah. I've got video, I've, I've got B-rolls of people driving by me you know, on there that, that found me right. and sent it to me. And I'm like, man, I mean, it's cool to see other people's visions. And, right. You know, like I was telling you, when your your eyes look at something different than what my eyes do. Right. And when that happens, you know, like when I go back and watch your videos and see what you see and what you liked about it, you know, it just gives me inspiration to right. look at something different. And that, I think that's awesome. So, so let's walk around and take yeah. a look at this hood on this yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. Did, so, you, did you do the hood? Yes, sir, I did. So I bought a plasma cutter and decided that I wanted to do something different. So I had seen this in one other application. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve Darnell did it in Welder Up. Okay. He did it on a 50, yeah. I think it was a 56 or 55 gasser. But he kind of tore it like mechanically. Right. I wanted it to more look like it exploded right. out the hood. And, and of course, you see what, what you see. And you definitely got that. And right. then if you notice the wood grain, is actually on the tips as if it were it blew apart and like the, under the hood would have been wood right so and that's that right there is a lot of detail work yes sir it's taking your time oh yeah to i just took a plasma cutter and kept cutting it playing with it trying to figure out you know and what i done is i took a piece of metal about the same consistency and i started playing with it ripping it seeing just how i could do it right so when you know men when they get new toys Yep. It's like, what well, can I, I do now? <laughs> so, mm -hmm. and what's amazing, this hood is a single layer. It was not two. You can see back here, this is the support for it. Okay. And the support, the other rib support is this. That's where it gets its strength. Right. But every bit of this is a single layer. When I cut into it, it was not two pieces. It's one piece that just opened up. So they, these, these vehicles are very thin vehicles. Right. And that's one reason why I put the roll cage in it. Because driving it on the street, if I if I took a hit from a you know a van or something, it'd right. probably kill me. Yeah. I mean because there's nothing there. 
Right. So I thought, well, I'll put a roll cage in it. And then one thing led to another and another, and then it was like, Snowball. okay, now here's this. And it's like, well, let's do this. And, you know, typical man fashion, right. you know, you never be satisfied with it. But but otherwise, it, I mean, it's, it's a fun little truck, uh, very, very fun to drive. And everybody that sees it wants to talk about it. And, and let me tell you the, the funnest thing, or I, I, I won't say funnest, but probably the most rewarding thing for me is when older men, because you know this was an era right. that you know that was about family. Yeah. And uh, I'll have an older man come up and say, "Man, I remember having one of those." And we was trying to go up Monterey Mountain. We had to get out of the truck, <laughs> yeah. push it up the hill. Mm. As the kids, we had to push it up the hill because it wouldn't get up over its own power. And then when we got to the top, we all got back in and went back down the hill. <laughs> and I'm like, "Really?" He was like every time we had to go towards east tennessee or, or a hill that's what we had to do and i was like wow i've actually had grown men sit in my truck and cry because they it brought back that kind of memory for well, the thing people don't realize a lot of people ain't really heavily into this mm -hmm. what kind of memories this brings back oh yeah for yeah people. i mean well, people grew up in the yeah and just like all these other cars around here they got great memories these, these cars oh, yeah. man they mean a lot they mean a lot to me I've been and coming, everybody in here. I've been coming to the Rumble for probably the last 14 years. Mm -hmm. So have we. And, and I've built something. Oh, I started this for, to be able to win the Rumble. I mean, that right. was that, that's the ultimate builder's goal here. I mean, if you can win here, it's like, oh, you can you win know, anywhere like, like you've done point. it. Yeah. Yeah. So I got my time. Spring of 23, I was calling for a dirty dozen. I was like, oh my God. Like you just don't even know the feeling that when when I mean you see the cars out yeah, here yeah. and when you're to the level to where they pick you to be right. there, that's a limelight. Yeah, I mean, man, it's like wow. So many cars here to yeah. choose from. Too. Absolutely. I mean, it ain't like there's 80 cars. There. <laughs> no. There's 80 cars in one section. I, I, there, I think I think when when I actually won, there was like like 950 or a thousand. I mean, it was, right. it was yeah. somewhere around thousand cars here when I won. And those are tough odds. Oh, absolutely. And, and the thing is, is I've been doing this for years, trying to t trying to win that. Right. And when I finally won it, I was just like, man, like where do I go from here? Right. And then I started looking at bigger shows. And I, this is a home show for me. Like this is this is fun stuff. Well, that's, that's how it is for us. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> and that's what you get around here. A lot of people talking <laughs> shit and having a good time. And that, that happens to be one of my good friends <laughs> hollering that out. While, by the way, he he camps by us every year, so he just. He's probably wanting his five minutes of fame too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. But thank you so much for taking hey, interest man. in my yeah. truck and thank and, you, um, man, for talking about it. We've seen this thing. I've been looking at this thing for two, three years. I've seen it in here and I'm like, this is awesome. There's nothing else here like it. This, this is the only thing here like this. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen another Parkway show up at this show. Matter right. of fact, the, the shows that I go to, I've seen one. And probably 300 shows I've been at. Wow. Literally. I mean, I'm talking, we go to Oklahoma, Indiana. I mean, we travel. Right. I just come from, I did a, a tour in Kentucky. Uh, we did three shows in Kentucky. And, you know, there's a Jeep show that's coming up. Well, that Jeep show says, hey, I want you to come and be on, on the first row. Like, like the, what they call like the Fab Five or, you mm -hmm. know, like their quality show. And what an honor, man, when somebody comes right. back and says, hey, I would love to have this at our show and I want to set it up like in our, you know, show section. And that's and when like, you know you made it right there. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you so, have made it right there. So this is this has been fun and, and I'm gonna, you know, put my skills elsewhere. I've been working on other people's trucks. I mean there's a lot of builds that I've been involved in. Right. My skills have gotten probably ten times better. So now it's time to say, okay, what can I do for it? Right. And and that's where that's where my next bill will be. Right. I'll tell you this, it's a 32 Studebaker Commander four-door suicide wow. car. And I don't know if I've ever seen another one in anywhere. Where did you, where did you find that? Athens, Alabama. <laughs> right beside <laughs> where I found this. So God let, must lead, lead me to Athens to buy my vehicle. Or he really um, likes Athens and puts I, all the maybe, good cars there. Puts all the good cars there for me. So, But yeah, that one will be coming soon. It's I, I want to get it completely finished. 
like unlike this because I've got a show truck. Right. I want to get it completely done. So when I roll it out, it'd probably be like in a spring or a fall rumble here. Right. That way it'll debut here. Right. And then when it does, I mean that's that's a test of how well did I do. Right. You know, so. I can't wait to see it. Oh yeah. If it turns out anything in the realm of what this had. Well, we're in for a treat, <laughs> and we're going to do another video on that one. Hey, I would love it. So thank you all so much. Hey, thank you, man. And what appreciate was your page again? Uh, it's Long Mo Custom. I like it. I yeah. like it. You I check appreciate it you. Hit, yeah. that, hit that thumbs up. Keep supporting it down. Absolutely. I, and I'll, I, 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 you just got a new subscriber for sure, and I'm going to subscribe <laughs> right now. That's what that's what we want to hear right there. Yeah. That is what we want to hear. I can't wait to see your other features that you do for other cars, because ultimately that's what our culture is about. Right, what, you right. know learning about what people's done exactly and it gets, you know and it's really good when you can get somebody like yourself to actually talk about the car and tell the story yes, behind sir. it and how it came to be and how you built it and where it came from yes, sir that goes a long way well and, and here's the thing it may inspire a young child right. it may you know you know you never know what impact you make on somebody right. i was at a car show in kentucky and, and there was a young lady there she's 13 she has her own truck uh, um, and I stopped and talked to her for just a few minutes. Well, she won at that show. She came to me. She said, would you take a picture with me, with wow. my truck? And now it's on the header of her, her grandparents' Facebook. I mean, it's, I mean, that's an honor for me. That makes like, me feel good. Well, it, it's, I took time to talk to a young child. So if I could tell any of your viewers, that's our future. Right. If we don't invest in the young kids, right. what, do we, what do we have? What this as a whole because by the time I'm seven and my dad's age, if, if young generation don't get into this and pick it up, I'm not gonna have this to enjoy at seven. Right. You're not gonna have to exactly. enjoy it at seven. Right. I mean, so just take that few minutes to, to you know talk to a kid about your stuff. Right. So that is something really take that to heart. Any kids out there that want to do this, just get involved with it. Yeah. Find something and Absolutely. just start doing something. Find a mentor. Yeah. Talk right. to somebody. Find a mentor. Exactly. Talk to somebody. I promise you there's somebody out there that will, is willing to teach you and right. want to learn. If you want to learn, somebody will teach you. Right. Exactly. We're going to get some good footage of this. Okay. And we're going to get some Absolutely. up under it. And Absolutely. Y'all take, take your time and look at it all you want.
frame, the hard parts of the frame was already done. We had the suspension, part of the suspension was on it. We had to redo a lot of it. But literally loaded it on a trailer with bobcat and a winch. Unloaded it with two bobcats. So that tells you what where it was when we right. first got it. But other than that, 48 days. Wow. Cut the manual, man. I've seen a lot of rats. That's, a, that's impressive. Yeah, 40, 48 days from basically the body. Like I said, it, you call it a roller, but it really wasn't a roller. Right. Because, like I said, we done it with unloaded it with two pieces of equipment. But other than that, 48 days it was. What size is this wheel? 24. 24. Damn, that is impressive. Mm -hmm. I love the blue on this too. The blue, man, it popped Yeah, off. I was trying to think what color to add to it. And blue. Blue and orange is my color, and I didn't think orange would. Yeah. And all the dimples I stuff inside the interior, but yeah. the blue on it, that really. That it'll really uh, it it'll blow your mind how quick I done that. <laughs> I hear that. Use plasma tape. Really? Wow, yeah. Sped it up. I mean, I've cut and I've, I've knocked them out. And, the time it would have took to done one door panel. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I had every one of them done the time we cut it on the plasma table because all you had to do then was die it, you know. Right. I love you got Alf on the door. That takes yeah. me, that takes me back right there. Well <laughs> the whole cat deal in Ohio, we've been making a mockery of it for the last couple of weeks there at home. <laughs> and I seen a sticker, somebody was mean or whatever you want to call it. Somebody made a post there on Facebook. And of course it said I'm not Haitian but I'll eat your kitty. <laughs> well it was a picture of country. Of hate. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. I'm going back to my childhood. Yep. They was one end of the one thing, one individual that always wanted to eat the cat. That's right. And I looked for a week, a week and a half for a good picture that would make it fun to yeah. about. And uh, one that I could also transfer over in the program to be able to cut. And I've done, all, you know, I found several, but none of them really. When they transferred over, by the time to cut it out of vinyl, they just they're right. just distorted everything so bad. And then I found that one not before last, and I said it's got to go on it. <laughs> so I done that yesterday. That is great. That is great. Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. I appreciate you taking time to tell us a little bit oh, about no it. Man. It's just amazing. Wow. I, uh, I enjoy fooling with them. I, I've got several. Now, what year and make it? Twenty-eight it? wheelies with it. Twenty-eight wheelies with it. Wow. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Y'all have a good night. You too. Thank you.